The main character is a rank 4 pilot. Now let's get to their abilities. So we have I'm your worst enemy. Once combat begins, increases this unit's nightmare frame skill gauge by 87.5% and its damage against Bertan forces by 87.5%. And the other effect is a double attacks. So basically, three seconds after deployment, and every 20 seconds thereafter, increases the double attacks triggered by this unit's normal attacks by one for 20 seconds or simultaneous attacks. By the way, if you use the Sagetsu or the Sarlin Custom, obviously the skills will be improved. For example, this would be 100%, not 87.5%, in case you were wondering. Now, what's really great about this main character pilot is that, first of all, balanced attack stats, although short range is better than long range, but still good for both, which is important because you have the Sarlin Custom, which is a good range nightmare frame, and you have the Sagetsu, which is a good melee nightmare frame, so the MC can use either one. The next awesome thing about this pilot is the factions. Black Knights and Ashford. This is super important, obviously for faction wars, but just in general for character buffs. The Millies can lower her cost, Rockshot can boost her attack power, Taizo can boost his speed, or their speed, and so forth. It's really cool that you have two factions for this pilot, two very different factions rather, not a faction and a sub-faction, and that's going to help for gameplay down the road. Because this pilot does extra damage against Britannian forces, and the skill gauge increases by 100% on deployment, well, theoretically, the MC can be a boss killer if you're dealing with pilots like Cornelia, Sezaku, maybe the Knights of the Round, etc. So there's really fun utility with the MC in that regard. The MC is also good in arena mode for the same reasons because once you deploy the MC, the gauge goes to 100% and you can take out a lot of enemies very quickly, you know, in and out. Unfortunately though, the skill gauge increase is only the start of the battle, so you can't withdraw the MC, then redeploy them and get that 100% increase to the skill gauge or 87.5%, only the first time. And I believe that goes as well with the extra damage against Britannian forces, which is one thing about this pilot that I'm not the biggest fan of. But back to the positives, the MC will get a really nice first year anniversary boost compared to Rakshada, which we'll get to in a second. So that's something to look forward to. Also, this pilot is free. And not only is the MC free, but you can also limit break the MC to 99 for free. So you're getting an elite annihilator pilot that's part of two factions for free, which is awesome and really great for budget players. Also, don't get used to this because this is the only MC pilot where they allowed you to limit break that pilot for free. For some reason, the other ones, they don't do this, but at least those pilots are free. That is until we got the Code Black character. Why would you do that? Now, as good as this pilot is, there are some problems I like to bring up. Number one, the deployment cost is way too damn high. Now you might say, well, it's understandable. The MC is an elite annihilator pilot. I'm just saying though, sometimes it's too high and it can be quite annoying. Another problem with this pilot, as I mentioned earlier, the first effect only happens once. So you can't keep spamming that ability. And while the extra damage against Britannian forces is really solid, just keep in mind that's only the start of the battle. That's not throughout the battle. So that kind of sucks. Another problem with the main character is that the durability is really bad. 3000 health and 300 D defense is okay now, but I'm telling you down the road, that's just not good enough. The first year anniversary boost only gets the health to 5,000, which you might think is also pretty good, but again, not really. And the Japanese side, I use the MC character sometimes, but the problem is consistently gets killed off easily because the durability is just not good enough compared to something like Cornelia or Bismarck Waldstein, or even the Annihilator C2 that's rank three or rank three Annihilator Colin. The point is this MC might have really powerful attack stats and decent abilities, but the durability is just not there. Another problem with the MC is there's no self attack buffs. Yes, you can use Rakshata and Zero to boost the attack power or even Schneisel or whoever, but there's no self buffs. So the 800 UC or the 900 later on, that's it, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Other than that though, this is still a really solid pilot and for a free pilot, you can't ask for much more. And that's why I really like the MC and now we finally have this pilot. So stop asking me where in the MC because we just got it. Now let's move on to the new Rakshata. Rakshata is a rank 4 special type pilot. The first effect is, this is our team's secret weapon. Upon deployment, shortens the standby time of pilots waiting to reposition by 50%. 
essentially reducing the redeployment time for pilots waiting to be redeployed. The next effect is a rapid relocation high, reduces the unit's redeploy time by 30%, and the redeploy time of all allied units is reduced by 20% during combat. Now, the first thing about this Rakshada that you probably noticed is that she costs one to deploy, but has relatively high health, good defense, and really good overall attack stats. So for a pilot that costs one to deploy, that's actually really solid. Now, many of you have read Rakshad's abilities and you've asked me well what's so good about her let me put it to you like this okay Rakshada halves the redeployment time of every pilot waiting to be redeployed which means you can get out pilots like Jeremiah faster on the battlefield increase your cost faster and get the better units out faster you're going to increase the velocity at which you are deploying really powerful pilots to the battlefield that's why this rock shot is so OP another thing to consider is that she already reduces the redeployment time of all pilots on your team by 20% but if you use her effect you can reduce it even further which is really broken. Essentially, every character on your team now has a fast redeployment time thanks to this Rakshada. That's why she's really broken. Yes, I've seen some people who say that she's only good in arena mode, and I get that because obviously in arena mode, speed is the name of the game, but even outside of arena mode, she's still really broken because again, she makes it easier to get all pilots like Jeremiah over and over and over again. Essentially, having her and Jeremiah is like having two cost increasers on the deployment that's how good this pilot is it actually boggles my mind that i look at certain tier lists for this game on the japanese side and rakshada is a tier even though i think this ability is better than the ones later on that we're going to get where you can make the next pilot you deploys cost zero percent or not zero percent you can reduce it by a hundred percent making the cost zero which is a really cool ability but it's only the next pilot i would rather just summon jeremiah withdraw jeremiah then deploy rakshada get the cost in half then get Jeremiah out faster and keep this process going until my entire team is pumped onto the battlefield. To me, that seems really broken. Some people look at these effects and scoff at them, but I'm telling you, you get the Rakshana, you're going to realize that she makes your life a lot easier because cost generation is super important in the game. Now, by the way, you can use it for any pilot you want, not just cost increasers. It can be Lelouch, you know, Ash for Lelouch. It can be Detar. It can be Taizo. It really doesn't matter. She makes them all so much stronger with this ability that's why this workshot is so good an easy stable for sure on any team not just in arena mode and one of the best underrated characters in the game right now in my opinion she belongs on the top 10 most broken characters in the game if you weren't destroyed by the new year's massacre and didn't get either kaguya or c2 and have some spare sakura die, definitely give this one a pull also if you go on this banner you can get lelouch which he's okay but c2 is really solid and of course Guilford, who again I mixed feelings about, but a pretty good defensive pilot. I'm actually kind of annoyed they're on the banner at some level because I'd rather get Rakshada over the other three. But hey, if you wanted to get them, you do have that option. Since we're here, let's go over other things for the half anniversary event. So if you go to the missions, which is right here, every time you destroy enemies, you get more MCs to unlock. Make sure to destroy as many enemies as possible to get all the MC limit breaks, which is really important. And the guaranteed rig for summon. Also in the store, I believe it's down here, you can actually buy one with your own money, which I mean, all right, I guess that's okay. I obviously have Norm paid Sakura died, but I guess you could technically pay for it if you wanted to. You can also, by the way, they have a nice little deal here. For $70, you can get 16,000 Sakuradite, which is kind of crazy to me. Is that worth it? I don't know. Willing in this game seems to give me mixed results. So for me, not so much, but I guess if you're in it for the long haul, 17K is actually pretty good. So 70 bucks is kind of, ugh, that's expensive. Jesus. Another thing to note, if you go back into the scout page, they're giving away 50 summons. I believe you can do 10 free every day. As far as I know, if you skip a day, it should still have it stocked up. So you could theoretically do all 50 at one time or 50 throughout the week. It's up to you, of course. There's also the step-up banner, which requires paid Sakuridite. So theoretically, what you could do is you could actually buy the half anniversary pack, spend it here, and then also go to the shop and buy the ticket. So you have that option as well. Again, not a huge fan of that, but hey, it's up to you, I suppose. And last, and certainly not least, you probably have noticed that in the daily missions, they're all halved at the cost, and you can do five a day or seven if you're already whaling. So between those two things, you can easily generate enough dead enemies 
to fulfill the requirements to unlock the main character. So we finally made it, it's the half anniversary event for everyone who started playing this game almost 6 months ago, actually it's been 6 months, which is really crazy. Well congratulations to you and hope we get to 1 year and the game does not go away like the Chinese version. What? Too soon? Anyways, if you want more content like this, check out my video on the New Year's characters and my guide on how to play this game for beginners because many of you might have actually started playing the game right now because of the half anniversary event. Go check out those videos right now.